Okay, uh, sorry about that. In order to edit a program, we need to use a program called the ED11 editor. I have a copy right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the loader to now load the ED11 editor. We did spend extra money for this high-speed paper tape reader. It can read 300 bytes per second. That's about 10 times faster than most terminals can print. Wow, this is pretty neat. Look at how fast the tape is moving. Okay, now that the editor is loaded and running, we can use it to enter an assembly language program. I just happen to have a good one right here. Would you like to type it in? Sure. Where's the mouse? Mice? We don't really have any mice around here except for Mickey over there, but I'm not quite sure how he's going to help us edit the program. I see. Now that we're done, we have to save it. How can we save it? You said earlier that you don't have any disks on this computer. Oh, paper tape, of course. Cool. OK, now that we have our source program punched on paper tape, we can use the assembler to translate this into machine language. Let me guess, the assembler's on another tape. Absolutely. Here it is. Do you want to load it? Sure. Now we'll have the assembler translate our assembly language program into machine language. Keep in mind that this is a two-pass assembler. I remember my org teacher talking about two-pass assemblers, but I don't quite remember what that means. Ah, during the first pass, the assembler reads the source tape and simply constructs a symbol table. During the second pass, the assembler reads the source program again and generates the image in the listing. See, it's finished with the first pass and has just printed the symbol table. Now we'll put the source tape through again for the second pass. So you actually have to put the source tape in twice. That's neat. Yeah, and if you want to play with the assembler's mind, it's fun to put a different program in for the second pass. The assembler gets pretty confused. Have you seen a psychiatrist lately? You seem to have a strange sense of fun. What can I say? I'm a nerd. Anyway, you can tell that the computer has now finished producing the listing and punched a paper tape that contains a machine language version. All I'll have to do is label this. Any guesses how we can now execute this program? By using the loader to load the tape, right? Excellent. You're already getting the hang of this. Here, you want to try it? Sure. Wow, this is really interesting. Recapping how to write programs for the PDP-11. Step one, use the loader to load the editor from tape. Step two, use the editor to edit the assembly language program. Step three, save the assembly language program onto paper tape. Step four, use the loader to load the assembler from tape. Step five, use the assembler to translate the assembly language program into a machine language program. Step six, use the loader to load the machine language program. But what if it didn't work right? How do you fix it? Ah, first you have to load the editor, then use the editor to load in your old source tape, use the editor to modify your program, use the editor to then punch a brand new tape, and then you... And then load the assembler, feed the new source through twice, and finally, feed the new image tape produced by the assembler. I think I have it. This process probably takes a while, doesn't it? Well, once you get good at it, you can edit a program in about five minutes or so, which I think is actually pretty good. And, and you thought 15 seconds was a long time for your C++ compiler to compile your program. I didn't realize how easy I have it. What do you mean, C++? Oh, slip of the tongue. Look, it's getting really kind of late. We really need to go. Hey, is that one of those new digital watches? I've always wanted to see one of those. Do we have to go? I'd like to look inside the computer and see. 
Look, I know you want to look inside the computer, but we really have to go. It's getting late. But hey, this has been really interesting. Thanks a lot for your time. Oh, you're very welcome. Thanks so much for stopping by. I always kind of enjoy showing off my new computer here. Hey, before you leave, would you like some apples? I really love these Macintoshes. Yeah, that sounds sure, great. Thanks. Hey, you're welcome.